first how-to video. So we're gonna show you how to catch pinfish, how to transport pinfish, and hopefully how to catch some snook on some pinfish. Um, just got to the dock where I'm gonna try to see if the pinfish are around right now. I'll show you the rig I'm using, and then uh, hopefully we'll get to catching them. Pop the action hat on the head. So it's got a really little spinning rod. And then it's a double uni knot. So whatever knot you like to get your leader, and this is real light, this is eight pound. And I just do a real simple little chicken rig. Just get that going, like that. If you can see that, there you go over the water. And then space out a little bit and do another one. Because when the pinfish are really chewing, you'll catch more than one at a time. So there's that. And then for my weight, oh, that's not the right one. Just putting a little bit of a bigger pinch weight on. So just like you're tying on a hook, whatever knot you use. So that's like you had a hook tied on there, there's just no hook. And then I just put the pinch weight on there and tie that on, just like that. Trim up my tag ends a little bit. And then these hooks are must add size eights. They're long shank. So easy to get the pinfish unhooked because you don't want to be killing your baits. Because that would be no good. So we got a couple hooks. bite the line to give it a little bit of a point without that actually cutting it. Come on. So you just stick the line through that, your loop, and then put the hook back on it. Make sure you get it over the eye of the hook, not on the bottom of it, because if it's on the bottom of it, your hook can end up coming off. Do the same thing on this one. That's our little uh, little rig. You can play around with your weight as far as how high or low it is. And our bait is just some frozen shrimp. Dump a few of them out, get them thawing out. Actually even drop a couple of them in the bucket. And then I don't use the heads. It's too hard to hook a fish with the head. So First thing I like to do is get a few of the heads. Because we just got here. We gotta wake these pinfish up. Just kinda throw it where you're gonna be fishing. Here, did a little bit of meal prep, got some little pieces going. Just little pieces, no shell. Got a bucket with a bubbler in it. And uh, once we get some in there, we'll go ahead and transfer them to the live well. So let's see if there's some pinfish around here. I think we found some pinfish. These are some big pinfish. The little D hooker is nice to have sometimes too, but I don't have one today. So that fish may have came in on that chum we had get them all fired up and catch them real fast. I want to get about 30 of them today. Because I didn't bring the big live well. Just brought like the 15 gallon. Missed them. Missed my little pinfish. Let's do it again. Sometimes squid works really well too. It's 
stays on the hook and doesn't fall off as easy as the shrimp does. Or fish bites, that fake bait stuff. There they are. There you go, that's a good pinfish, a little bit smaller. Still a big pinfish though. These are gonna be big snook that we're catching. There's two. And as far as to find where the pinfish are, it depends where you live. Just try the bridges, try boat ramps. This is just a place where a friend of mine lives. So I'm able to get in here. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. That is a candy. That'll be a slot snook bait right there. I'll show you guys the rig I have in my truck too to keep these alive. Cause we're about 20 miles from where I'm gonna be fishing them. Ooh, another big one. Pull and drag. These are Mac Daddy pins. Love to have these things offshore for some grouper. But yeah, these baits cost you at least a dollar each if you were to buy them in the store. Ooh, a small one. Got a good small one. Good small one. Good small one. So that's pretty much all it is. I'm gonna do this on repeat. I'll uh, come back to you guys once I'm transferring them into the truck and uh, we'll be filling up the live well and be heading down there with roughly 30 baits. Come on, I just felt one. I know he's there. One more for you guys, one more. Look at that, I already got my fingers bleeding from getting pricked by these things. Sometimes you gotta move around. If they're not here, Ooh, I got a nice little loop farming. There he is. On another big pin. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Stay in your bucket. All right, so I got just a little 15 gallon live well. I had one of my pinfish bleeding. Must have gut hooked him, but I just threw him out. So we'll actually do this real fast. I don't want to put that bloody water in there. So get some fresh water into the live well. Fresh isn't new, not salinity. What do we got? We got four, five, six pins. We're just gonna keep filling up the live well. Just try not to dump salt water all over my truck. But it happens. So that's good for now. And then what I got right here is, it's like a bubbler that you would buy at a bait shop, but on steroids. This is one from a pet store. It's just the biggest one they have and I have it hooked up to a power inverter in my truck. So that's just, putting out a lot of bubbles you can see so get them going get my bucket and go on out and do it again got our 30 baits or 35 baits or so and this one's going back to our homies Hope he's got hooked a little bit see him bleeding out his gills and there's our homie right up there See if he gets them. Come on, you know you want it. Oh, here he comes. He's gonna 
get him. He's gonna get him. He's lining up. Speared him. Dude's got him. Let's swallow that thing whole. And this will be right around 30 baits. Got all our gear, got our trash. And we're ready to start heading down to the inlet because that is where I'm going snook fishing today. Let's make sure it's pumping. Oh yeah, it's pumping good. Give it a bunch of slack. And let's go. All right, so we're not at the inlet yet to start fishing, but we spent a lot of time catching these baits. So we're gonna take care of them. And uh, we're at the beach right now. I'm just gonna do a quick little water change to them. All right. So I'm doing a full water change. I'm just gonna add five gallons and hopefully that makes these guys happy. All swimming around, so it's looking good. It's gonna drain a little bit down. There are five gallons in there. Let's see if we can see them all. Happy baits. No floaters, just a bunch of swimming around pinfish. And that's it for them. Lock it up, slide it in. So maybe that'll help out your bait catching game a little bit. The pinfish this time of year are an awesome bait for redfish, for snook, inshore, and then offshore, really good grouper bait this time of year. Um, the winner for the free sticker is Fishing the Surf. I think you said you wanted a grouper sticker. But just contact me and we'll go ahead and send that one out to you. And we're definitely going to do it again. So another free sticker giveaway for this video. All you have to do to enter is comment whatever sticker design you want. Uh, you can see all the different designs at h2ofvinyldesigns.com. That's my website where you can order the hats and stickers. And just check it out and you can see what you can choose from for the contest. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of the video. I'll do little how-tos whenever I think of something that's worthy of a how-to. And this time of year, pinfish are expensive, and they're really easy to catch this time of year. So get out there, give it a shot, and uh, go catch some pinfish. See you in the next video.